five years of my tattoo career was a real struggle. I was living off of like bread and margarine sandwiches and I'd skip meals even then and it was, it was really tough gaining a clientele when you're that young. Sometimes I'd lie to people about my age because people won't trust a teenager and you know, rightfully so, who would trust a teenager? But you just gotta tough through it and it makes you develop a thick skin which you really need to be a tattoo artist and I think that's what you really need to be an artist in Vancouver as well. You really need to be like ag aggressive in a way but you know, but really able to make connections with your peers and take advantage of that. There is a negative stigma attached to commercial art, especially when it comes to other artists. Like if you're doing commercial art, you're working for the man or you're subscribing your art to the, the average person's tastes or something. So I don't know, I don't really consider that part of my practice at all. I just do what I like to do, but I mean, tattoos inherently involve other people's skin and ideas, so I kind of have to work with that. Um, my painting is just like a, more of an outlet for me and it helps that I am able to do gallery shows and other people are interested in it, but it's just it's more of a, a personal practice and it's a little bit more um, selfish, I guess, in a good way. Working as a tattoo artist has both negatively and positively affected my painting career and vice versa as well. I mean, people will see my paintings and they'll try to incorporate that kind of imagery into their tattoo art, which is really awesome because you get this fusion of these two styles which don't traditionally go together. I think it's really pushing the boundaries of both illustration and tattoos. But on the other hand, both practices are so time consuming and there's only 24 hours in a day and I don't sleep and uh, I just, I'm really tired at the end of the day but it's, it's worth it. That's what I keep telling myself at least. It's the illustrator's life. I feel like a lot of my friends in school have this idea that you can just go through a school system or you could just complete a degree and then you're magically imbued with the abilities to be a professional artist but you have to you have to have like a drive inside of you you really have to be able to like I said aggressively kind of push your work out there but without stepping on your friends and just you know making connections with people and using that to your advantage you know, it's great to have shows, it's great to have galleries on your side and gallery managers, but at the end of the day, um, when it comes to help, your fellow artists are really the people who you can rely on and the people who are going to help you promote your work and you can stand on each other's shoulders and go to each other for advice. So establishing a network of friends who are artists is essential for any artist working anywhere. I'm a hella introvert and I'm scared of people and you know like I said if I had it my way I'd just sit in here all day and watch movies but I can't I mean, this is my practice and you just have to suck it up and give her you know jump into it like I said you have to have a thick skin to be an artist. Hello my name is Nomi Chi and I'm a tattoo artist and I'm an illustrator.